Budget season is here and in full swing for the city. This year, we tried a new format to provide information on the 2018 budget by hosting a Facebook Live budget question and answer session. This allows us to get the information to you where you are instead of asking you to come to City Hall to get the information. In case you missed our Facebook Live budget Q&A, here are a few budget basics and highlights for next year's budget. Let's start with the levy. A levy, which is also known as property taxes, is what the city charges property owners for the services and that amount is based on the value of your property. For 2018, our property tax levy is $15,235,000 and it accounts for 80% of the city's budget. The other 20% comes from permits and fees, charges for services, and intergovernmental funds. While the 2018 levy is only a 3% increase over 2017, the affected tax rate for 2018 is actually going to go down because the city's tax base has increased. This means that a home valued at the median, which is $225,000, will see a $6 increase and a house valued at about $312,300 will see a $46 increase in their property taxes for the city for 2018. So what do you, as Cottage Grove residents, get for your money? We provide services, and because it's the people that provide those services, more than half of our expenditures is actually in personnel or salaries and benefits. The rest of the city's expenses are commodities such as fuel, contractual services, and capital outlay. When the budget is broken down by department, public safety or police, fire, and EMS take up nearly half of the budget at 46%. These are the people that come to help you when you're having one of your worst days and try to make it just a little bit better. Public Works is the next largest department with 19% of the budget. Public Works is the department that maintains, paves, and plows the roads, as well as maintains the water and sewer system. The Parks and Recreation Department is 14% of the budget. This covers not just the recreation programming, but also the maintenance of each of the parks, the new inclusive playground, the 42 miles of trails we have, the ice arena, and River Oaks Golf Course and Event Center, which all help to make us a recreation destination. Did you know that we have a park within a half mile of every resident in Cottage Grove? The next largest department in the budget is Community Development at 11%. This department works hard to position the city for growth. They help ensure buildings and houses are safe, bringing in building permit revenue, attracts businesses through economic development, and plan the city for future development. Community development is one of the few departments looking to add staff this year. They want to add a full-time building inspector. Because this position is salary covered by the revenue from building inspections, the position is considered budget neutral and will not cause the budget to increase or decrease. And finally, general government makes up 10% of the budget. General government covers everything from administration, financing, the city clerk, human resources, communications, IT, and the elections to city council and mayor. They hire and train employees, communicate city information to its residents, make sure the city budget is balanced, and makes policy decisions, among other things. At the September 6th council meeting, the city council did adopt the preliminary levy and budget. There may be changes in the budget between now and December when the city council adopts the budget and levy, but that generally does not happen. At this point, the levy cannot be increased, but it can be decreased. In November, truth and taxation notices will be mailed to properties, and then in December, the city council will adopt the final budget and levy. I invite all of you to attend the budget meeting in December or to watch it live streamed on SWCTC's website. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.